If you're looking for your next car, we're here to help. We review all of the UAE's latest cars, compare models, and give you a full review to make your decision easier. We're Motopedia. New to the UAE is the Fiat 500, a subcompact two-door sedan that's cute and stylish. But amongst the UAE's army of large vehicles can seem a bit daunting to drive. We, however, get the Fiat 500 Turbo. The Fiat is small but tall, upright design with easy curves around the rear, almost making it look like something out of a Mr. Magoo cartoon. Small, round headlights in front extend its shy nature, with flashlight-like daylight running lamps that also double up as fog lamps, and along with the mustache in front, make a charming appearance. Our turbo model had 100 horsepower, with a sport mode allowing us to rev higher, and included paddle shifters. Unfortunately, the 500 has the transmission more suited for a small pickup truck from the 80s. There's no parking gear, just neutral, reverse, and drive with a Tiptronic gearbox. When you first go into D, it will go into manual mode unless you swipe it again to go automatic. Gear changes are slow and confused, as it can sometimes get stuck in third, even in auto mode. When stuck in Dubai's traffic, this car requires your attention for the right gear changes, and the small base of the car means you're going to feel every small bump on the road. On the upside, fuel economy is great, and a full tank means roughly about 60 dirhams. The 500's interior is retro, but does not come off as cheap or gimmicky. The white on gray works quite well and adds to the cuteness quotient. The single speedometer shows both revs and speed, with a small LCD panel to let you know which gear you're in, along with date and time. The aircon is fast, efficient, and the audio system is excellent. The steering wheel has the Bluetooth and audio controls, and the window controls are in the middle. Don't bring a large drink inside, though, because there's no place to put it. And there's no glove box, just a small shelf. Interestingly, there also isn't any way to lock the doors from the inside. Although these are all small car issues, we think they could have been sorted out. The front seats are spacious, with everything at arm's length. Moving the seat backward for children is easy, although it's not really a place for adults. The cabin feels airy because loads of light comes in from the large windows and the permanent, part-shaded sunroof, making this a fun car on a trip to Europe. Luggage space in the rear is decent for two medium bags and some groceries. The ride quality is below par, though, due to the harsh suspension and confused gear changes, resulting in a reasonably stressed-out driver. There's the usual array for driver and passenger airbags, but at speeds above 120, your safety is always questionable in a car this small. The Fiat 500 is a stylish but quirky small car, perfect for urban commutes, but not in the UAE. It needs to revisit the gear assembly and transmission to truly turn it into a fun driving experience. Who else is the competition? It's the Alfa Romeo Mito and Mini Cooper. See their videos too before you make a decision. If you're enjoying these reviews, subscribe to our channel by clicking the link here and you'll know whenever a new video is uploaded.